When Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad clocked out as the fourth Prime Minister in 2003, Tun Dr. Siti Hasma Mohamad Ali was probably the happiest person on earth. For 22 years, she had to share her husband with the rest of the country. She expressed relief that she got her husband back. How would you describe that period when Tun Mahathir was completely out of politics, right after he... Well, I felt that I have my husband back and the, to the family, how relieved we all were, even children. The children at that time were much younger and the, the, our, both our grandchildren also were with us at that time. They were not overseas. So we really expect a very good time with the family. But uh, soon after that, my husband started to become busy again, doing he, he does his writing, and uh, he, he was busy meeting friends, and uh, these friends, of course, uh, like-minded like him, and uh, soon after, he got back into politics. So there was no, there was no slowing down for him? No. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Only for a short while. If at all, it would be just one month, two months, but not more than that. He started to become restless. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go into his hobbies, carpentry and stuff? At that time, man, we were in... We were in... We were in... In... Apoto? And uh, at the mines. No, we don't have what what he he enjoyed most during that time. Even until of late, we used to go horse riding. He spent more time on that, and then going around town driving. He keeps his um, regular schedule weekends. Weekends is free. There are no no appointments of course at that time. Man, mm. so, so he has got much more free time to write, to read, to ride horses and to drive freely around town and to stop at any cafe and have coffee. And you went with him? Uh, not, not all the time. Certainly so not horse riding. <laughs> so when exactly did he tell you that he was returning to active politics? I can see, he didn't have to tell me. Because he's been attending this and attending that. I know that he's going back to politics, especially towards the end of our last term too. Okay. And many people have started to come to see him and um, not that he can um, consult with me or tell me, inform me, but we can notice the people who come to see him. What was your reaction to that? Mm. What did you tell him? Tell who? Tell the He's a person who needs no telling you. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you share with him your your thoughts, your feelings? Yeah, sometimes I say, well, why? I sometimes I ask you, how can I follow on that thing? That's lah, yeah. So sometimes he he when he talks, but most times he doesn't talk about politics with me, and he he. He knows me very well. That if there's somebody that's not agreeable, comes to see him, and uh, I know who he he is, I will show my dislike of him on my on my face. There's something which, which my husband tried to avoid. So no politics of um, negative politics. He would tell me. So what, what does he share with you? Or what do, do you share with him? Uh, <coughs> good things, especially sometimes also he says oh, that person comes to see me to talk about this. And sometimes when he was asked, oh, yeah, during that time when he was asked, 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 he was asked. So when, when that happens, I, I will be with him, entertain him, and they are very they're, they're, they're very friendly. They don't find us hostile. 
to anyone that comes to the house, especially those <coughs> guys who wants to share with the, my husband their thoughts, are not usually <coughs> welcome. But those who ask for something, there's something that they're not welcome. Where well, I'm concerned. I don't want my husband to be burdened with people's problems. And, uh, and he was uh, up when he chosen to solve their problem. So when he became the seventh prime minister, what went through your mind? Many things. Such as? What the heck is good? <laughs> Why? Why in the goodness of everything that he wants to become again a prime minister? And he was quite, he didn't have, he never told me, but then the trend was going towards that. Huh? Yeah. That, um, um, that uh, uh, planted gun, mm. potential PM. So eventually I asked him straight, are you sure you're going to do well uh, being a Prime Minister again? Say, and why are you doing this? Okay. It means a lot to me because meaning I have to sacrifice him again. Okay. And we have children, grown up children, grown up grandchildren this time not only grown-up children and small kids, and their small kids were not grown-up grandchildren who would need his advice or his company. And so I asked him straight away, he said, why do you do this? Why do you want to become a Prime Minister again? And he said, it's a very clear, straightforward answer. Tanggu jawab. Tanggu jawab saya. It's my responsibility. So what can I do? So it's a repeat of, uh, he mentioned his past life, previous life. It's a repeat of that now? No. The past it's life enough. as Prime Minister is much easier. The first round is, was very, very much easier. And I think he enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it also. And we were young at the time, just 55, 56. Okay? But, uh, not this time. It's more very, very difficult. Even till now. Mm. Outside the party, inside the party. And in the government. There's a big challenge. And every time I see him coming back home late, I dare not ask straight away. I don't want to discuss anything during meals. Because, uh, some people say it's in dream real time, you talk. Yeah, talk of good things, happy things, yes. But not asking what happened today. Mm -hmm. Dr. Siti Asma lamented that she rarely has Dr. Mahade all to herself. These days, one cannot find Dr. Mahade without his minders. There are 10 UTK Unit Tindakan Khas personnel following them wherever they go. Does it take you out? You know? No. How, how to take me out? when there are 10 UTKs behind us. <laughs> huh? You want to take my place? Please take. They don't leave you alone, yeah? No. Some, they are so precious. Someone going to do something harm to us. So this one. Don't become so a prime minister. Have, so you don't have... Free time. Your own I, private time. I have my own private time. I have, I'm the one who has more private time than him. I feel sorry for him. Every time, nenek bersikal pun, oh, banyaknya bersikal belakang. Nenek kuda pun begitu juga. Pak dulu pun macam tu juga kan? Tu? Yelah, tapi not so... People are... Not, not apa tu... People respect him. Mm -hmm. So don't come to shake hands, ambil gambar, nak selfie, nak auto dua macam-macam. But now it's actually extreme. He cannot go out without having a not. I think the UTKs just they want to perform the duty, kind of yeah. thing. Okay. After the the KL evening, yeah, photo incident. After North President, yeah, brother, kind okay. North Korean President. But the people after ten five one year ago, and today we're ten five. I remember how. Just to remind me, 
The 10-5 was very critical this time, one year ago. One year ago, exactly today. The people are so happy. They want to express their gratefulness, their happiness. Can they, they cannot, he, my husband cannot go alone. You cannot find him alone. Magaya gaya ta. There'll be a whole crowd. You can't say they put your own bodyguard and you take anything. But people, of course, you can't help it. Datang Chinese, Hindi, and the Buddha, one, two, seem to recognize him. I don't know. But I think it comes with the, you know, it comes with the profession, so that he's the prime minister. And, yeah, of course. So. And people want to, so, you know. But this in history sharing. I guess so. more so now than during that interim period, 2003 to, to uh, uh, 2018. Ada kan? Ada boleh kita during that time when we are out of politics kan? Not actually out of politics, but not holding any uh, jawatan that time. Uh, when we go out, to people do come and say and, and just look at us kan? Jitu jitu. Tapi uh, they don't crowd around us, wanting to shake hands, wanting to do selfie at that, that time. But now it's beyond control. That's why the UTKs are very, very, very up to cautious. They are doing that duty. Tangan, sapu ni tangan pun tak boleh, tak boleh touch my husband. Tak boleh. Angkat ada setengah tu, they they change the UTKs of another three weeks. Satu shift, satu shift. And some of them don't even recognize our own children. Because mm -hmm. my children also was... <laughs> my Zura, you know my Zura man. She's such a small girl, kan? Nampak macam a young kid. Uh, she was pushed out. That's how we live now.